little bit about where we yeah. are. Yeah, I was just sometimes it's helpful to kind of think about um, you know how we got to be here. So the house that we were just in is called the Waisaki House. That's the original farmhouse of one of the families that used to farm this land. So um, originally there were three family farms that managed this property: um, the Waisaki family, the Adams, and Dakin. And so this property spans about 40 acres and the university bought it in the 1940s. Those three farmers, uh, I think there was uh, squash, there was actually a dairy operation here and uh, I think tobacco. And so it's interesting when you do soil tests of this property, uh, it's very different from down here to up there. But anyway, the university bought this land in the 1940s from the family. Um, they kept the farmhouse, which is kind of cool and uh, it's been in hay production. We have a livestock farm, the Hadley farm, which is over um, on the other end of campus there, and a lot of the animals there we produce our own hay for, and so this land had been hayed for a long time. Um, in 2013, the chancellor deemed this land agricultural use, which is great because it stayed um, as beautiful as it is now instead of becoming a parking lot or a new building. Um, and so at that time, uh, some of the administrators approached the faculty and said, does anybody want access to this land to do research or, um, you know, let's get together and make this something really unique. And the idea was that it would be an outdoor lab for students. And so we have all this great theory in the classroom and here's a place where you can implement it. So that's in a nutshell, there was a lot more to it than that, but uh, that's kind of how this land came to be.